All right, everybody. Good afternoon, Los Alamos Esports fans. We have a scrimmage this afternoon uh, for the Los Alamos High School Secret City Esports Rocket League team. Uh, this afternoon, they're going to be playing against uh, Nugales High School from Arizona in a best of five match. Um, rosters today that we're going to be seeing are the following. Uh, we have for Los Alamos, just T-Man, uh, Henshina, and Shiego. Those are going to be our three Los Alamos representatives. Um, not our, you know, complete lineup today. We're missing uh, Hi Rizzo, I believe. And uh, anyway, this is a good chance for some of the younger younger players to get some uh, Rocket League scrimmage action going. Uh, today we're going to be playing against, as I mentioned, uh, Nagala's High School from Arizona. Uh, we don't really have any information on their lineup this afternoon, so kind of a kind of a grab bag as to whether we're going to have a uh, you know difficult challenge here or not. It's going to be a rollover or not. Uh, we don't really have any info. So um, anyway, we'll be checking out the lineups here shortly when we get into game. Just a reminder to make sure you check out our merch page located at skulls.com slash collections secret slash secret city esports um anyway we'll get into the lobby check out the socials here and we'll be underway here shortly
Hey, how's it going, Coach Hoveday? Hey, Coach Goodbody, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. Busy day. Yeah? You're just oh, in time for the match, potentially? Yep. <laughs> Get so. still the same password that uh, was in chat, correct? Correct. Yes, All this, right. is, this is being streamed, so we have to be a little careful. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want yeah, anybody no. trolling us. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly. No, the game is the game is still open and active. We're just waiting for the uh, the galas players to arrive. All right. Here we go. It's now letting me join. Perfect. To see what the shenanigans is going to be. Yep. We're going to do an in-house 2v2. That's going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, so we're just waiting for the uh, Megales High School team to join. If they don't join in the next about 10 minutes, we're actually gonna, just going to play an in-house 2v2. Exactly. be interesting to see what the matchup's going to be. Yeah, this is a this is a preseason match, or is this... A, yeah. Okay. Yeah, preseason, so... It's, I think, gonna set where the seeds are on the bracket. Got I it. remember correctly. So I think it has some importance into the bracket choice. Got it. That makes sense. I will update the stream title for that then. I will check with Tony because I'm pretty sure. It's always interesting trying to figure out how they go and plot. Like if they go off of what the runnings were last year, and that right. kind of plant their seed for the following right. seasons. So. No, I'm not sure how they uh, yeah, determine rankings like that. So. They uh, got off on the time difference. That could be the case. I'm actually they they are not on daylight savings time, so oh, okay. could, could yeah. be the case. I think Arizona as a whole. time to advertise our merch page so much goodbye you saw the jerseys came in last week is that right yeah i got to see the setup that each kid had for their gamer tag and the new threads it looked pretty sick but i'm i'm jealous i'm waiting for mine to come in i still okay. haven't gotten notified <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the first batch of jerseys came in got 
distributed to some of the kids. So yeah, those are those are awesome. Yeah, and they're all black and green represent some of the high school colors, black, green, and yellow. And uh, one that I'm getting is the white. That'd be uh, pretty cool. It's gonna be the coach's style, huh? Yeah, it's just really stand out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, got my tumbler and I got my t-shirt in finally last week as well. So I'm I'm good to go. I guess I gotta put in an order for a jersey now too, because I'm a little jealous there. They're pretty nice. I'm just glad I can keep a nice cold beverage the whole day. <laughs> keep on filling it up. Same ice that I have. <laughs> Very convenient. Yeah, maybe I gotta switch out that mug picture for the tumbler. It's uh pretty sweet yeah I can't go wrong cleans up really nice too there's some of those uh kind of chip off the paint and enamel really easy these ones are pretty robust yep yep I got this uh sweet rocket league tumbler on uh Etsy too that but you're oh, nice. what you're saying is exactly true it's not the highest quality so yeah, the one the one from the esports store here is looking much better in terms of longevity. Especially when I'm trying to move around with the puppy trying to oh my gosh load up a truck, it, it definitely doesn't go well. <laughs> <laughs> had already had it bounce off the ground once, and I was like, oh well, got a nice little character to it. Exactly. <laughs> if I get yeah. another one, I know which cup's mine. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, make sure to check out our social media pages shown on the screen here. Uh, make sure to follow the channel, the Twitch channel, if possible, if you're watching right now. Um, and I know a lot of you have Amazon Prime. And if you have Amazon Prime, you get a free subscription every month to a Twitch channel. I so highly, highly recommend to make a couple extra quick clicks on the Twitch channel, get your Prime subscription in. We'd love that. Looks like uh, Fade Light in the chat knows what's going on. He's already got his Prime subscription going. So awesome, awesome work. Have you playing in a, any ranked games lately? No, I've been out of town, so I'm gonna be a little rusty. I've been a week yeah. off. Uh, actually played a few ranked games, some doubles with Coach Tony before I left. Oh, nice. Yeah, I think I saw a clip that he had posted yeah. on the Discord <laughs> chat. <laughs> yeah, I was a little nervous playing with Coach. And uh, anyway, we had a lot of fun. Almost broke even, I think, uh, but Generally, I play doubles with uh, some of my lower ranked friends, so that's my that's my lower ranked account. And bumping it up to champion level was a nice little wake up call to how fast fast the game is compared to diamond level. Oh yeah, slowly creeping through diamond. It's been rough. Yeah, you've uh, been on the wagon there, trying to rank up. Yep. I think I just got to. Diamond 2, it's been far nice. too long from even looking to see if I'm still in Diamond 2 or not, I don't remember. <laughs> are you <laughs> playing mostly, st play. <laughs> mostly standard or are you playing doubles? Yeah, I'm playing mostly standard, so nice. it's been interesting trying to learn each person as you go through the game. A little disheartening when you see a three stack, got a whole group together going against uh, you and two other randoms and see if you guys can mesh well and turn the whole game on them. Yeah, it just kind of goes back to standard play, so we shall see. Yep. Mentioning now, Coach Tony, is that uh, you're realizing that Arizona is on a different time zone. Could be a little miscommunication here. Might have to uh, restart the stream. In about a half hour, if we can't get a hold of the New Valley's high school team. 
Seems like plenty of time for us to get a couple games in. We can uh, warm up the sticks, if you know what I mean. Exactly. <laughs> That'd be perfect. Get a coach game going on threes. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw you in cold. Sink or swim. I don't know if you had a chance to look at our lineup yet. Which good body. We had uh, just Team Ann, our champion representative. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. And Sheena has a. I think he's a solid. I'm not sure if he's diamond or platinum, actually. I think he might be platinum. And then. Yeah. I believe he's in the platinum range, yeah. Uh, OG Simp himself. I actually don't know what his rank is right now. Um, I don't know if you have um, any insider info last for time, me. Yeah, last time they did the rank check, I believe he was in GC2. Oh. So he's climbing his way back up to SSL. Wow. Okay. I didn't didn't give enough uh, enough research in here to give him his... Yeah, he's an unranked mystery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because he changed his gamer tag. I'm pretty sure he's the same as Pizro. I think he just recently changed it. Um, it shows standard GC3 Div 2 is uh, his 3v3s. So pretty sure that's him, unless he has a Smurf account. I'm not sure. Okay, got it. Or someone totally new. Could find out. <laughs> well, we'll try to play the old... Uh... Guess the rank game once the game gets started yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely if he doesn't play like me, he's he's doing good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to figure out how to do a ceiling shot and it's not, not working out too well. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. I'm uh need to get on the trading bandwagon a bit more to get some of those tougher shots locked yep. down, but it's good for you. And I've been trying to get the backboard reads, those awkward, awkward ones to where you're in net and then you have to try and read it as it bounces off backboard and carry it out. Ooh, it's right. a little frustrating sometimes, but definitely keeps your interest. All right, Coach Tony confirming that the OG Simp is a newer player. Okay. So truly the unranked mystery. Speaking of unranked mysteries, we have a Nogales high school team, which we don't know what lineup they're actually fielding today. So, fortunately, I don't have any lineup information for them. I think all I saw coming through was one player was a gold ranked. Other than that, unknown. Gonna be a full toss up. <laughs> Seems like our uh, our players today have started joining the Twitch chat, getting a little restless. <laughs> Welcome, players. We're not talking talking too much, you know, <laughs> about you until we see see how the games yep. go. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it was pretty uh, fun seeing Reese doing a one v one. That was that was pretty fun. They're uh, playing for their third spot. Oh yeah, I missed the uh, missed the ranking ranking tryouts there, so that's kind of a fun way to do it. Yeah. See what your skills are and see how other players play. You know, you can potentially get someone out of position, capitalize on them. Maybe they get nervous under pressure, and it's something that they uh, start to learn to get through and definitely turn it into a positive. Yeah, you play much on the one side there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. you do? I used to do oh, a okay. lot of ones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not a, not a big fan. I mean, it's really good for uh, ball control, but I get too nervous when I play ones. I need help. Yeah. And I would sit down and play like 10 games of ones and run all the way through, see if I can get a, at least one, two divisions up because you yep. just bounce back and forth. Exactly. One thing to do is uh, 
uh, someone in like a threes game or a twos game that you've been meshing with pretty well and then friend them and be like hey you want to play some ones and actually see you know what what they can do it's pretty neat you get the mechanics and freedom of a threes game and then pushed into a ones they, they change it up oh it totally for loop yeah yeah i think it ones is you have so much time to kind of set up a shot or set up a little flick and once you get back into twos and threes the timing is kind of off for how much time you think you have versus how much time you actually have and it'd be a little frustrating to jump back and forth yeah definitely and trying to figure out the boost game is the rough part mm. do you even go for a boost or do you just stay with pads and stay close to him sometimes presence just throws him off the ball they that's get nervous. right have you still been uh using the merc as your main yeah i use merc uh what i've used since the original original release so <laughs> yeah, when when uh, Tony and I are playing doubles, we uh, switch over to Merc as well. He has a lot of experience with the, the van. Yep. So we were a little Merc team. It was pretty fun. It's too bad he can't get an 18 decal. An 18 decal. A team? Oh, the A team. Yeah. Is that, does yeah, that exist? Exactly. Like, yeah. In terms <laughs> of a skin so. yet? I don't think so. Okay. Should capitalize on it. <laughs> if only you can do some customizing that'd be pretty neat put your own artwork in here yeah well yeah that could get out of hand pretty fast but that would be yeah awesome get some custom custom like they had in forza and things like that yeah yeah exactly i used to play that a lot i enjoyed uh driving game simulations and stuff Yeah, sorry, the background uh, Rocket League sounds are still coming through. Somebody started the game, so accidentally. So we got we just got to overtime, but there's actually nobody playing. Don't worry, folks. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what, if there was someone playing, he'd probably beat himself. <laughs> <laughs> he'd go and try and go for a shot, hit backboard, and bounce right back into his net. <laughs> All right. Looks like everybody left this match except us. So we'll back out so we can restart the lobby. Yep. Get it formatted. Ready for some 2v2s if they don't come in with some response and any guidance. Perfect. I'm just going to step away for about one minute and I'll be back. Alrighty. Yeah, definitely everyone if uh you guys are interested in joining a team getting involved something like that uh, there's going to be a fair going on september 27th through october 1st it's going to be around lunchtime 11:15 uh, to 11:50 a.m we're going to be setting up a little table up there have people there so you can talk to someone that is involved in esports and any of the coaches that are involved will try and come by also way we can give you information get you set up so that way we can try and get a little bit more bolstering in different areas get a potential jv team going can also go for uh other interests for league of legends might if you're interested and if you just want to hang out we also have uh info so that way we can get you into the discord chat get you meeting new people game of your interest we can go and create any type of uh chat different types of lobbies so that way we can get everybody in their own interest but definitely come by again october 27th excuse me uh september 27th october 1st
All right, looks like we're looking for response from the Nogales high school coach. We don't hear anything back by five o'clock local. We'll just play some 2v2 and uh, stream a little bonus match for you guys. See if there's any beef that's going to get started internal, huh? Good, good practice. See how the, the 2v2 teams gel here. All about communication, so. Definitely. The way I've seen it, it's kind of progressed into like two 1v1s going on at the same time on the same field. <laughs> that's right. Exactly. Took me a while just to get into twos just because of that aspect. Yeah, it's a little a little more dangerous. That that third player you have a little bit of buffer if you make a make a mistake. Generally you have a few folks that can go for a save at least. So uh, yeah, two's a little more a little more of a pressure cooker, I would say. You know, one mistake can really screw up screw you up. So definitely. Definitely shows any type of vulnerabilities real quick, too. I tell you what, I'm in a little mood where I keep on going back and forth from Dominus and Octane Hitbox, and I can't get away from it. Mm, yeah, this is a... It's a trap. Got to make sure you choose choose one that you like and stick with it. I guess yeah. Tony, Coach Tony, can go back and forth uh, pretty easily. It seems like, but yeah, I highly recommend for newer players to choose a car and stick with it for a while. Otherwise, it can it can throw off your shots a little bit. Yeah, I tried the Merc. It it just turns awkwardly. It was hard for me. <laughs> Fun to see an air dribble though. Yeah, you won't be seen much out of my Merc play for air dribbles. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just a reminder to folks in the chat, if you have that follow button, make sure you hit follow on the Twitch chat. Uh, also make sure that you subscribe if you have a Prime subscription available. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well for a one month subscription to the channel. Subscription dollars do go towards direct support of the esports team. So we can provide cool merch to the student players like we see on the screen right now uh, and making sure that our equipment is all up to date for the teams. In some tournaments, we have to pay a fee just to get the entrance in for players, so it definitely helps out there also. Thankfully, this fall one's just for fun. We get to see where everybody places, and we get to go for free to have the organization backing us, so that way we can uh, get some good communication going different coaches in different areas. Yeah, just to... Inter uh, oh, go ahead. So it'd be inter interesting to see what area is actually doing really good in certain esports. If it's a regional thing, what's popular in that area? Yeah, that's a great question. I think... Uh... Yeah, the play versus platform should should have a pretty good handle on where the esports scene is is blossoming or or not. Just gonna reiterate the the Discord channel for any of the students that are online or watching this that want to join. We we have our yeah competitive games, so Rocket League, Smite, League of Legends. Uh, but we have a bunch of other channels as well for Fortnite, Smash, what else? Madden, FIFA. 
Valorant. We have a few Valorant players if you're interested in that. Uh, Apex Legends, Platoon, and Brawlhalla. I know Brawlhalla's been a little bit active as well. Uh, so it's not just not just the esports games. Uh, it's just a community of gamers here that you're welcome to join. Find other folks at the school that are interested in gaming and put together some casual games as well. And as we hear, we'll post what tournaments are going on locally or just as a tournament that's in the esports realm. And sometimes you get in for free and you can challenge for some credits in game or some other items. It's pretty interesting. Don't always have to go and pay for something and in game you can go and earn it. Not sure if you're uh, logged into your Steam account. I guess it's showing that you're offline so they can't invite you to the party here. Uh yeah, I'm on Epic right now, so maybe okay. Tony can send me that one. Were you able to kind of maintain the same name, but just kind of change one letter or something? Yeah, I just got rid of the space. It seemed to work just fine. So, Oh, nice. <laughs> I wasn't able to do that. <laughs> All over the place with mine. Keep people guessing. <laughs> yeah, let me, uh, let me just double check, make sure it's still logged in here. I... Yeah. Possibly relaunch too. I've been having issues to where I try and join a party and it'll kick me and I have to relaunch the game and get back in. All right, let me give that a try. I'll be right back. Yep. Always fun learning the new bugs. All right, looks like I'm back active again. Hopefully you can see me. Yep, see you there. Perfect. In, boy. There we go. All right, we'll hop into the game here. Awesome. I'm going to go ahead and edit the uh, team names here. <laughs> Not sure if uh, Coach Tony wants a preference, orange or blue. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's going to be trying to do a 1v3. Coach versus players. I think that's a little bold. <laughs> he's pretty good. I don't know if he's that good. He says he'll be orange. I've played him a couple of times, 1v1s. It didn't turn out too well for me. Oh, I think sorry, my dude. ego got bruised. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely learn a lot. It's fun. Enjoy playing with those seasoned players. Get to figure out what used to be the go-to play and then what's new nowadays. All right, looks like we're going to hop into game here. 
assuming it's going to be Tony and the OG simp, but I'm not actually sure. We'll see what happens. You can uh, send me an invite. It just kicked me out. Oh, sure. Let me. I have that weird that. bug there. All right, see if that works. Launching now. Perfect. There we are. All right. Oh, they are going to do a 1v3, it looks like. <laughs> Pretty brave. <laughs> be interesting what they're going to have to do for a... Uh... If he's not on kickoff. Yeah, I don't know. Take every time, I guess. All they have to do is beat him one time, and we're going to have an open goal, but oh, he almost got a lucky shot there. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful touch, Coach Tony. You hear him just tap that boost perfectly. That was nice. Yep. Feathering all the way through. Alright, well I know your team can do better than that, so we'll see what happens here. Definitely Tony's being a little conservative on those kickoffs, playing it nice and slow, getting that 50. As he needs to. Yeah, I think a lot of this is going to boil down to... Uh, just T-Man beating the ball right down the middle. One of those yep. crosses. Oh, great pass play. He could be shooter, he could be passer. He's very accurate. I know uh, it will give me a good beating in a 1v1. <laughs> There's a nice powerful shot. Great conversion by T-Man there. Yeah, it's a razor's edge to determine if you actually want to go for the ball when you're Tony. Or if you need to just head back, because that's a tall order. <laughs> nice 50-50 by Coach Tony. You're going to have to be real careful here. Let's see how this pass comes in by just T-Man. I'm assuming he's going to be. Yeah, nice try to pinch there. Great interception by the OG. Great cutoff uh, by Reese there. Yeah, and I'm not to target. Definitely gotta watch out for the Enchina. Uh, He's Definitely a good uh, ones player. He does a lot of ball control, and with that dominance, he can really flick, get some space out there. Yeah, that was really good patience to take control of that ball. See the same thing here. I think Coach Tony knows that as well. So, oh, beautiful back flip by the OG Simp to get that interception and set up just team man. Beautiful. What a play. Got to throw some flare and get that air roll. <laughs> Look great. <laughs> no, I think it was very practical to get that nose down. Yeah. And a really good ball shot there. The OG sent himself to get that goal. So yeah. Tony started out pretty strong, time. but uh, <laughs> maybe the. The threes team here, a little insulted by letting that goal go. I think it's a little too rough. We might have to do something where it has to be a passing play only. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really cheeky shot by... <laughs> Just flipped it right around him. Sent to fake out Coach Tony. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if he was truly sorry or not. <laughs> oh, great. Great play. Oh, that 
Puts me going for Ugo there. <laughs> Read back pass. Nice center by Hinshinyo. This T-Man in position again. Getting a little out of hand here, 5-1. I was feeling bad about the first 30 seconds there. and thinking Tony's just going to do some work here, but it's not the case after all. Out of this, he's just showing his presence, seeing if they can make a mistake, and he's going to capitalize. <laughs> that would not fare as well as Coach Tony's doing right now. Oh, that's That'd so be tall. Any flashbacks? To losing a teammate early and playing two v three, but this is much oh, less yeah. worse, actually. <laughs> Definitely not as toxic. <laughs> Beautiful shot by Coach Tony. He's gonna oh, ooh. just outside post. T Man did have the read though. The OG Sim can make another sick play. Not this time though, says Coach Tony. Quite sure he's gonna be able to do off the wall here. For an own goal, looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Just team man with another great pass inside. He is definitely quick. Let's see if he can get back to goal. This is going to be a good setup. Yeah. And he's capitalized. Wow. Great shot by Tony there. Good read off the wall. Patience. He didn't think just T Man was going to be able to make that read, so he, he stayed on the ground. That was a wise move by Coach Tony there. Oh. Great kickoff. Oh. Super dangerous shot. Yeah. And just to a little bit of a fast off, break. Maybe. Great pass. And OG Simp with a nice fake there. Setting up Pinchina. Unfortunately, cannot connect on the uh, on target shot there. Get a good look at just T Man's control here. Beautiful pass in the middle. Oh, great bump by Yoshi yeah. Simp after a little bit of friendly fire from the blue team. A little tap on the back saying, good try there, Coach Tony. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, uh, blue team, as expected, gets that win against uh, Coach Tony. I'm not sure if they're going to go for a rematch here, but I will give blue a point. I wonder if Tony's listening in to comms. He's got some inside, yeah, inside scoop. Yeah, that's, that's a great question. <laughs> we should check on that. If he... uh, it looks like he muted himself. So, No communication uh, by happening here for Coach Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Tony asking for more demos, which is gonna seal his own fate, but probably a good call if you have an extra player, just try to get the uh, smaller team out of position with some bumps and demos. A little bit of deja vu here. Coach trying to get in the early, early goal, first blood here. See OG Simp goes a little high there, a little bit of a misplay. Had the right idea playing that backboard, though. Definitely for a new player, that's good awareness. Yeah, I got a lot of fans for uh, the OG Simp here in the chat. Your cheerleaders going 
We know you aren't a wimp. Show them what you've got, the OG simp. You've got their own cheer. <laughs> wow. <laughs> For the OG simp. <laughs> I have to be a little careful if I'm too critical of the OG Simp, let me know. Yeah, and I should be a part of advertising teams. So we, saw, we saw the best play, I would say, of the match last game from OG Simp. That sick fake-off kick. Uh, and here we see Blue Team back on the board. And Sheena getting the off-the-wall goal. A couple times we've seen that. Interesting to see if he starts doing some fake kickoffs, get the ball fed right to him. Exactly. Maybe that's why he's calling for demos. He wants them to full commit. <laughs> <laughs> that or it just gives him more opportunity to go and demo others. <laughs> he doesn't feel bad. Exactly. Ooh, great passing play there. Definitely have been seeing a good oh, uh, no. between uh, T Man and, and Sheena. Oh, and I'm sick. Sheena and OG Simp are doing great. Uh oh, it's a little bit of trouble. Make sure they don't misplay this into the goal. Yeah, a little dangerous. Let's see if Team Man can get some power on the shot. Not quite. Gonna wait for the OG to come in and make a play on this. A little bit dangerous. Close to a shot on his own goal there. Team Man with some great ball control. What a play. Wow. What a pass. That was a beautiful play. A beautiful communication there. Team Man getting it right on Sheena's nose. Sheena following up with a perfect shot in the upper right corner. Uh oh. I thought it was Tony. AFK. Yeah, he's going for perfect. Not going for the fake kickoff. <laughs> Just waiting. See if Sheena can go for the hat trick here. Not quite. Great pass again. OG Simp with a free jump to try to get exactly where that ball is going. Pretty risky, but it would have been a nice play. Sheena putting the ball back in play. That's a real awkward ball for Coach Tony, unfortunately. He is able to make it play. Right, out, threatening positions. Doing great and keeping up pressure. That's going to be a costly interception, potentially, if OG Sim can put it in the middle. He cannot. Another play. Quite on target for the OG Sim. If Groovy Tony can work his magic. Almost got that flick over the first try. And Sheena with some really great ball control is going to go for a while. Wow. The There's that. Leg came through. <laughs> <laughs> he asked for it. <laughs> that's the play Tony was asking for. A little bump. Oh, that's so frustrating. Coach Tony there. Great ball control and patience from Sheena not to just go for a shot out right there, but wait until that bump came in. Fan favorite OG Simp looking for a goal here. See if he can make it happen. We're just seeing all those blue name tags. They're circling like sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Blood's in the water right now. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for uh, Coach Tony, he's going to have to make plays just slightly quicker than that. those bumps again. A little bit of a fast break here for Tony. Good read on that machine block. This is the one that's so frustrating. No idea what you're supposed to do with that. Hitting in the middle out with no teammate. Wow, beautiful play by Coach Tony off the wall there. Great sidewall play. 
I, I didn't say, know what to do there. He knew exactly what to do. I've seen him do a doomsday dish, so I know it's pretty threatening off the backboard from Tony. <laughs> it's great when he's on your team. <laughs> I have no idea what a doomsday dish is. That's when you're on the opponent's backboard and you tip it right off the backboard and pre-flip it back in. And you scoop oh, it back in the goal. Okay. I didn't realize you that. You right in there. Go ahead and name it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That was a great play. He bumped a uh, T-man there, played that 50. Just walked it in. <laughs> Coach Tony, the epic comeback here. This T-man trying to make a solo play here. This ran out of room, unfortunately. Turns back on it. Tony out of position. Is able to make a block. He's gonna go. Oh, I thought he was gonna try to pass it back to the middle, but probably makes a smart play and, and retreats for the full rotation back. That's a good match, and I haven't seen any back passes. They might be coming through here pretty soon. Just a beautiful pass from the OG Simp. Good read by T Man with that. All strongly into the upper right again. Well played. I'd definitely say OG Sims playing like a, let's say, diamond level. Man, those control okay. that he's playing, he's timing pretty good off of the sidewall jumps. Yeah, he had that. A couple of next level solo plays. A couple of missed flips. I don't know. It's hard, to, hard for me to judge that right now. Good redirect. Almost the goal we were looking for. Coach Tony's just going to run out of time. Trying that comeback. <laughs> Fortunately. Almost. Almost. Wonder if he's starting to get that sweat into the controller now. <laughs> Is that what he needs to <laughs> yep. start playing at Got his it. highest level there? Yep. Got to try and get that sweat in the controller, get it tacky, and get some more grip. <laughs> it's tactical. <laughs> Seems counterintuitive to me, but alas, I don't know the ways of. Uh, yeah. so to spectate here, I apologize. Unfortunately, Coach Tony not on track with his early goal. Beautiful pass by Hashina. G Simp. Just misses that. Times a charm for just T-Man. Yeah, sometimes when you have just too much time, it's too good to be true. You just overthink that shot a little bit. It has to be more of a natural reaction. You do yeah. that all the time. Sometimes that power shot, it's beneficial. Sometimes it hurts you. Yep. Tony breaks away here and is able to get a beautiful shot in. Nice touch. It's like a design play. T Man getting that kickoff right to Hinshina. Good patience there by just T-Man. Knew that that was going to be an awkward bounce. Reads it just perfectly. That was going to be a deadly kickoff going for a pinch. Yeah. <laughs> just a fake pinch there. Yeah, it's a good fake Played by uh, E Man also. Yeah. Wow. 
chance here if someone's in position. You can tell the low boost status of Coach Tony just flipping as much as he can to try and get that <laughs> momentum. <laughs> He's still managing. He's doing very well. Oh, yeah. That tip over. That is on target. Just team that is there just in time. See if he can make a play on Coach Tony here and get the ball. Oh, Ooh. demo coming through. <laughs> no one quite in position, not expecting that demo. He's playing more defensive than minded. Sheena's going to be the one back, hopefully in time for a shot coming in by Coach Tony. Beautiful touch off the wall by just T-Man to solidify this lead at 3-1. to one. on kickoff here. We saw Coach Tony, you know, hold back, not go for this kickoff on a couple attempts, but this time unlucky with the uh, place the ball landed. E-Man takes advantage of that. Great touch by Hinchina. Nice soft touch, kept it close to the backboard. Yeah, it looks like they were giving him a chance for the Billy Dish. No, I can't remember what that place called. Doomsy. Doomsy Dish. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I would be up for calling it that, though. I do like that sound. <laughs> the Billy Dish. <laughs> uh, just Come on, OG Simp. You need this goal. No. I think he's just playing with him. Can't get a nose on that to get the, the final pass to the middle. Machina waiting for that one. And going for the air roll. Machina coming in, third man. Keeping that net clear. Tony's just trying to buy himself some time, keep it up in the air. Yeah, he has, he has on the play there, just. As the match goes on, it seems like uh, the team is a little more and more comfortable with uh, what Tony's going to try to do. Oh, they're, they're just relentless. Just even with a great angle there. Really tough shot. Yeah, that was a tough shot. Little pinch attempt there by OG Simp and just T-Man. Tony is gonna be able to make a move here. Just T-Man back where he's supposed to be though. Stops that attack in his tracks. Control on that little air dribble, but couldn't get that corner to tip it yeah, right towards that. Close. What happens when you play a little too much Merc? Yep. Expecting that last touch, you couldn't quite get it. Nice bump, double bump, triple bump <laughs> by the OG Simp himself. Capitalize though. That's pretty well consistent all the way through each game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, wow. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So well played by the team here. Getting the expected outcome, but uh, had some really nice. 
solo plays and team plays that we saw. T-Man holding down the fort here with five goals in the third game. Great to see what uh, is going to be coming of it. You know, a lot of these kids are getting meshed together, getting the practices in, and I think it's uh, turning out to be a good season. Get people cycling through. Everybody's going to challenge for a spot. Yeah, if we get a nice little roster going here, it's uh, actually a pretty competitive team, a, a strong varsity, strong JV team. You know, as you said, competing for spots will be pretty exciting over the course of this fall season. Uh, trying to get everybody tuned up for, for the fall spring season starting next year. But um, yeah, this, this official fall season, I believe, starts in two weeks. Um, so looking forward to getting some matches against some of the stronger opponents in the state and in the region be really really exciting to see what happens good night for having me coach Obde. yeah thanks coach good buddy we'll we'll check in soon and see everybody later take care see you